is up everybody i am mason for the mockbuster youtube channel and today we have another NECA ultimate figure review and today since i reviewed michael myers i wanted to review the halloween 2018 ultimate laurie strode and what's cool about this was i've always been like wanting a survivor girl or any like protagonist of a horror film to have their own figure because it looked really good in display like, I still want maybe a young Laurie Strode. Now, I know they came out with the uh, the retro retro cloth type figure of Laurie Strode. But again, I really don't like the Michael of that retro cloth series. It looks a bit too baggy, too kiddish, too childish. So, I didn't want to get that. Now, what's cool is they're making a two-pack of Halloween 2 with these, like, ultimate, like, plastic fabric type style. So, it's not going to be retro cloth, like, fabric. It'll just be, like, a plastic fabric. And... That looks really good because it's in scale to, uh, what's it called, a, a normal 7-inch figure. So it comes with Sam Loomis and Michael Myers, which is really cool. I still want a Nancy Thompson. I still want a young Laurie Strode. So that would be cool. Maybe even get a uh, young, the girl from, uh, what's it called, Texas Chainsaw. That would be pretty cool. But uh, anyways, uh, getting into this figure, I got this recently at a local comic book shop slash action figure shop. So they had a lot of cool NECA stuff. But again, uh, I was only in there because um, I wanted to check and see if they had any more Halloween NECA figures, and they did. So it was the ultimate Laurie Strode. Here you, ha in the front, you have an older picture of Jamie Lee Curtis, as she is seen in the photo with the Michael in the background. On the side, it's the same. It, it coincides with it coincides with the actual figure. So most of the stuff is gonna look the same, except for a little bit of hindrance with the imagery. imagery. So here is the picture of Michael from the actual movie art, but then here is a uh, modified version of that art. Same with the side again. These sides aren't ch haven't changed, but on the back, even at the top, the top is the exact same, as well as the bottom. Now this is substantially lighter than the Ultimate Ma Michael Myers. So... Here is the back. There's a little read-up. It's been 40 years since Laurie Strode survived a vicious attack from crazed killer Michael Myers on Halloween night. She now faces a terrifying showdown when Michael returns to Haddonfield. But this time, Laurie is ready for him. It is the exact same read-up as the one before on the Michael. And here are some product shots of the ultimate Laurie Strode, which actually look really good. So, And there's one displayed with the um with michael and it says it comes with shotgun rifle revolver knife sheath and two interchangeable heads so let's get into that let's open this up and take a closer look at the ultimate laurie strode but first actually let's look at the inside so you have another product shot so let's actually take a closer look at the NECA toys ultimate laurie strode all right so the first accessory shown is the revolver and um, it looks really good. This is her main weapon in the movie. You get the subtle details such as the uh, grip, the gripping on the actual revolver itself. You can see this like, this looks so realistic. I feel like I can like switch the chambers and stuff. It's like really, it looks really good. Again, with NECA, I feel like they've mastered the artwork of making something look like metal because it's not just a clear like silver detailing. There's also detailings of black, especially on the edges and the curves of each individual item. You have the, what's it called? The cock, the hack, Hancock, something like that. I don't know, I'm not too knowledgeable in guns. So kill me, okay? So you got the trigger. Everything looks really good, even like the metal piece of the hinge individual with the with the grip and stuff. All of the paintwork is absolutely amazing. I feel like they could have done a better job with adding more highlights to the actual like the wood grain maybe. But again, that's not ne super necessary. But again, they've had like smaller items like I showed you in the the hammer, the hammer hammer. That's what this is called. But the hammer in the uh, Ultimate Michael, it had this wood grain that looked really nice, and it was a at least two times smaller than this so i wonder why they didn't go with that in the original and with the gun maybe i guess in the wood the wood there is no wood gray on the gun but i don't know i have to rewatch halloween 2018 because i don't remember i'm going to be watching it i'm going to be watching halloween kills this saturday finally after so long i'm finally going to be watching halloween kills you know i heard i haven't heard many good reviews on it and what's cool is ooh, 
there's actually a hole here so it doesn't look like i've seen so many guns where it's just been painted over but this actually looks like a gun with an actual chamber and an actual barrel so that's pretty cool but what i was saying was that i actually um, i heard a lot of bad things about halloween kills but you know what i was coming with the open mind because i heard a lot of bad things about batman v superman and i actually didn't really mind that movie that was actually a pretty good movie now next is the shotgun which is featured in the final scene again this one is a bit more basic the details in the mold are really good you got the ridges in the pump uh the barrel looks nice it also has so if you can barely see those details because of how small it is but that's but they're able to get so much detail you even got little ridges again there's the hole in the actual barrel the only bit of detail i guess you could say there is the silver but it always has this reflective glittery glossy type sheen to it which adds that more realism to being this is like this is an actual piece of metal that's been forged into a killing machine which is a gun but yeah the detail on this is amazing this is already like the trigger's already been pushed so i'm guessing you'd have it put it in her hands uh, so it'd be more easier i guess that's not 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 with the the uh, revolver because the revolver the trigger is in standby mode so I'm guessing it'd be easier for the trigger here to be already being pulled. But again, that's the shotgun. Nice detail, nice detail, nice coloring, nice shading. Now next is the uh, main weapon, or the second secondary main weapon she uses. And this is the Winchester rifle, which is very nice, you know, where, she, where she's target practicing and she flips that out. I've always wanted to try out a Winchester, but this is where the detail shines. Look at the the metal, look at the different coats of black and grays to make it actually convey that this is actually an actual piece of metal and this is an actual gun. This is absolutely, this is my favorite piece. Like even the little details like the, uh, the iron sights and everything like that, this looks absolutely amazing. Now again, could it have done with a bit more deeper of a wood grain, yes, but it's still there. There's still, you can tell there's different coats of brown on this actual stock as well as the uh, the grip on here in the top. But where this takes a cake is that metal, dude. Look how realistic it looks. It looks absolutely amazing. Like it literally, like all these details are so fine and granular that it makes you appreciate this stuff even more. Even though technically it's still an action figure. But uh, still, the way they're able to put on so much detail is amazing. Now, the last accessory that comes with this figure is the hunting knife. And if I can get a better look at this. Now, here's the hunting knife. Again, you can see the grips, the ridges, everything. You can see there's, there's black shades over it. There's black washes, and again, this looks like an actual knife because you can see that ridge where it's about the cutting line and everything. There's even that, like so much detail they're able to put in such a small, small accessory. Again, I think they went a little too heavy handed with the actual dark painting because it's kind of smeared on my blade, or at least for my blade. Uh, a red, maybe some blood would have been nice on it, but again, she's not really cutting, stabbing people. But like the grip, is accentuated on here and it looks really nice it goes from smooth to a grip to another different type of grip it looks absolutely amazing you even have that little stock thing to put like attach it to a gun which i don't believe there is an attachment for this but it shows that there is Now, this says it also comes with an interchangeable head. We'll take a look at that. And this is the interchangeable head of Laurie Strode. Now, the only difference between this and the, the normal head that it comes with is that this has no glasses. This has glasses. What I don't like is that it's the same exact expression. I wish they could have changed it up a bit. But again, I can see why people want the same expression because... You know, uh, people don't want, like, people sometimes like the glasses look, and they don't want it to stray too far from the actual original look. But uh, the detail work on this is absolutely amazing. You can see her wrinkles, her mold. I believe they molded it maybe for the thing, and they just took that mold. 
but the shading and the different color details, the gradients on the, the hair is, is pretty good. It's not amazing. It does kind of look like a wet mop, but uh, <laughs> you can't really get too much detail into hair and stuff without actually having hair itself because it's just a piece of plastic molding where they have to coat multiple times with different colors and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is this looks really good. You, this is this doesn't come off. So I mean, it's movable, it's malleable, but I highly uh, suggest you don't fiddle with it too much. Uh, the lips seem to have a sort of a makeup on, like lipstick or whatever. But besides that, this is a really good looking head sculpt. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis accurate, kind of. But again, I'm used to watching Freaky Friday and like seeing younger Jamie Lee Curtis, so. I don't watch too much modern Jamie Lee Curtis. Like, I haven't seen Knives Out yet, so. But that's the interchangeable hand. And it also comes with the interchangeable... And that was the interchangeable head. It also comes with the interchangeable hand, which I believe you can use to hold either the knife, or you can tomahawk that bitch. There's really no shading that much detail. You do get the ligaments, and you can see all the tendons in her hands. But it's not the best. It still looks like a clay. They they do a lot better with they did a lot better with the Michael hand, especially when I'm looking at these Fre Freddy uh, Freddy Krueger hands. They did a lot better. This I think they just rushed it a bit just to get this out in the market. But <clears throat> now that we take a look at the accessories, let's actually take a look at the meat and potatoes of this actual figure. And it is the actual action figure itself. This is Laurie Strode. Again, you've heard my opinion on the head sculpt. It's okay. It, it's not the best looking. It, this is definitely the uh, least. This is the definitely the one of the the least my least favorite figure in this uh, in my collection of NECA figures. But again, that's it's more of a basic figure. It's just for set display and stuff. But again, going closer into the detail of this figure, you can see the head sculpt. It's decent. It's not the best. She kind of looks like a tortoise in this. <laughs> but uh, the detail on the jacket is amazing. That's where it takes the cake. You can see all the folds, the pockets. See even the coloring of the buttons and the zipper. All of this stuff looks absolutely amazing because of their good. They're really good at coloring. Their color work and their painting is absolutely amazing, as well as the molding. Like this feels like an actual jacket. Uh, it's even malleable, so you get that. You even get a little bit of fupa. You get a, you get a little fupa action. Uh, it's also uh, see you, even the ripples in the jack in the shirt from in between her breasts is absolutely amazing. Like this feels. This doesn't feel, but it looks like an actual like shirt. And if you go closer, you can see she has a cross. She's wearing a cross, which is not movable or malleable. It's a molded on piece of plastic. But you can see the gray jacket. It's absolutely amazing. As well as you go down, you can see her pants. This also comes with that sheath where you can easily just put the combat knife in, I believe. Let's try that. Uh, okay, and it is in. My only problem is that I just don't want this to snap off. Like if it's just chilling out here, if I like do something, it might snap off. But uh, it's a good nice little detail. I think I'd keep it outside because what's the point of having it if it's just gonna be covered by the jacket anyways. But that's the sheath. The sheath is actually really well detailed. Again, you can see all of the uh, the details and the buttons that, that connect the pieces of fabric together to make the actual sheath. And then you can see the belt there's a nice brown color. Not the deepest, not the most detailed, but it still works. Because you can still see the individual rivets of the silver, which is very nice. And then you go down to her pants. The pants is actually the one of the best colored. You can see all the ripples in her jeans, but as well as it has like a wash to it. If you know jeans, most jeans aren't a solid color. It's this color, but it's a washed with like a white or a black. And this is a black jean washed with white because it's it's not her first time wearing these pants. These are a bit used pants. So that's really nice. You got a piece of that, that, that Jamie Lee Curtis ass. <laughs> I'm joking. But then you go down. And these are the these are the shoes, the boots. The boots are really well done. Uh, they have all the wrinkles and the ridges. Uh, all of the inlays for the laces are really nice. They're all sil colored silver. The silver really pops in all of these figures. But again, uh, it kind of disconnects because you need that ankle 
pivot so it looks a bit weird like it looks a bit disjointed like she looks like she just cracked her ankle but besides that that was the detail of the figure and the if i would rate the detail out of 10 i'd probably give this like a 7 7.5 it's it's pretty good it's not amazing the head sculpt could have been a, a bit changed on but i'm guessing that's because this is an older jamie lee curtis maybe i'm not too familiar with jamie lee curtis's older face but uh, yeah, now let's get into the articulation. And the articulation, there's a, there's pretty good points of articulation. You can do a one, you can do a 360. It will be a bit hindered because of her hair. And I don't suggest you doing it too much because it might scratch the actual detail work of the jacket. But going down, again, it's a peg joint. But then going down is a ball joint in the actual armpit. So you can go in and out as well as swivel all around or turn around. This is cool because this is one of the newer NECA figures, so it is granted with that double joint in the elbow, which means not only can this move, but also attached at the forearm can also move, so you can get a really high points of detail, or high points of articulation, which is amazing. But again, for these type of figures, I don't know if you'd want so much of that. I know for the Halloween, you want them to be reaching all the way back to be like this, to be stabbing. But for Jamie Lee, I don't know if you'd want that. It's not absolutely necessary, but again, each point is a swivelable. As you can see, I just swiveled the form, but even at the point of the elbow, it can also swivel as well. Uh, again, at the hand, you can you can slightly go in and out, as well as swivel it around. Then going down more, you can obviously see there is a cut at the hip, so you can go up and down, which rocks this bottom part. I'm guessing this is for yeah this is for the rotation at the upper the upper abdomen as well as the lower abdomen can also move as well so that's I guess this point is it for it to crunch and here is it for it to turn and then going down more you have the cut at the thigh so you can go in and out this is a ball joint so you can go in and out not too much and then you can go in and backwards, not really, because she got that donker on her, so she can't really move backwards. <laughs> Anyways, there is no double joint on the knee, which is actually surprising. Because uh, if you're going to have it in the elbow, might as well just have it on the knee, right? But I'm guessing, so you can only go 45 degrees with the knee. And then going down more, you can turn it, but it's, att it's attached to the ankle. So you can do your ballerina splits, just barely. But again, that's a bit sus. And then you can't really go that much inwards, but you can also turn around like if 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 like she fell down and you're portraying a scene where she broke her ankle she needs to hop away from michael myers you have that availability so when it comes to the accessories trying to put them in i don't really talk about this because i know it takes up a lot of time and no one really cares about that but it, it, they fit in somewhat like this was pretty easy having the gun in her hand was pretty easy i remember my only problem was with the uh the winchester i believe Winchester was pretty difficult because I think this is where the double joints come into play is because Like I don't I don't know how I don't want to like mess up the thumb or whatever That's in there And then you can also have it like this So they all fit really well into her hand. It's not like you you, you can't pose anything with it Can you pose it where she's like aiming? I don't know I don't think you can do that with these figures. Maybe if I meddled more with it, but I don't have that much time. So I don't want to take up too much of your time, guys. So that was the ultimate Laurie Strode by Naked Toys. Let me know down below what do you guys think of the actual action figure itself. I really like it. Um, is it one of the, is it the best figures? No, they could have obviously done better with a better head sculpt. Maybe a bit better molding on the hands, better detail. But again, the accessories that always kill it. They're always absolutely amazing with the accessories, the detail work on the clothes, and just the coloring, the shaping, the folding, and all the molds are really well done. Uh, I would rate this a 7.5 out of 10 in total. It's a pretty good figure, not the best, not much detail, but again, it is a basic figure because it's not like a Freddy Krueger where there's extra details that you could add to this figure. It's trying to go for a more realistic standard type figure, and for a display piece with uh, posing this with Michael Myers. I think this is a really good display piece and a must own if you are a Halloween fan or a Halloween 2018 fan or just a Halloween fan in general. So yeah, this is my review of the NECA 
Ultimate Laurie Strode, the Halloween 2018 version. This is by Naked Toys and Real Toys. Let me know down below what do you guys think about this action figure. I really like it. I think it's I think it's a necessity. If I have the Halloween 2018 Michael Myers, I need the Laurie Strode from Halloween 2018. So please leave a like down below, subscribe. And yeah, that has been it. I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Please leave a like, subscribe, and please have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you're watching this. Please stay safe and God bless. Cheers, guys.